Welcome to Electron Line, and here we're going to take another look at what photons are in terms of how they work inside microwave ovens. Now, microwave ovens heat up our food, and most of us are familiar with what they are. And let's say here we have a chicken heating up, and the reason why food heats up in a microwave oven is because the energy that's being imparted on the food by the microwave oven is of the exact correct frequency to interact with the water molecules inside the food. Now it turns out water molecules are polar molecules. You can see that they tend to be positively charged on one side and negatively charged on the other side. So when photons of the microwave, in this case microwave photons, enter the food, they will alternately cause forces to exist in one direction for the positive charges and the other direction for negative charges and then as they alternate because of course the direction of the electric and magnetic field uh, inside the photons change with the frequency of the photon you can see that the that the forces then alternate and that the objects then begin to oscillate like this so instead of of course absorbing it by simply uh, causing some internal vibration to exist it, what happens is that the molecule begins to vibrate back and forth like this and that's how it and that's how it absorbs energy and that's why the heating process takes place the kind of process that takes place here is what we call dielectric heating that's the effect that it has the microwaves photons they have a penetrating ability of about 25 to 38 millimeters which is about one to one and a half inches so when trying to heat up a big clump of food that doesn't work very well because the microwaves can get cannot get to the inside of the food they will tend to eat the outside layer of the food and then the heat will slowly transfer to the inside and that takes a little bit longer now the frequency at which the water molecules will vibrate back and forth inside food is 2.45 gigahertz. So what kind of wavelength microwaves do you need for that to work the best? Because you want the frequency of the microwaves to be in sync with the frequency oscillations of the water molecules inside the food. So we use the equation C equals F times lambda, frequency times lambda, to find out the wavelength of the microwaves required to do so. So when we plug in the numbers, we get 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second for the speed of light divided by the frequency of 2.45 times 10 to the 9 hertz because giga is 10 to the 9th and now I need the calculator to figure that out. Alright so we have 3 e to the 8 divided by 2.45 e to the 9th and that leaves us with about 12.25 so that lambda equals 12.25 centimeters. So that is the wavelength in a microwave oven that's ideal for heating up food because that wavelength microwave will have the exact frequency required to impart the energy onto the photon. And how does it do that? The photon comes in, it starts pulling on that on that water molecule as the water molecule starts vibrating back and forth it absorbs the energy of the photon and that's how the heating process takes place again it's due to the quantized nature of photons that the photons are absorbed one by one as they cause the oscillation to occur inside the food and as the oscillation begins to really build up as photons are being imparted into the food the food will heat up and that's how energy is transferred from the microwaves into the food and that's how that works